right, guys, so letting you guys know real quick, I took a little break from it, but fan mail is back. I have this stack right here, some package right here. I took a little break from it, but I'll let you guys know fan mail is back. I've never sent fan mail before to anybody, or I already have sent fan mail before. Send it over right now. It's going to be on screen right now. I, I'm going to tell you, every single fan mail is going to be open. I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently now, though. They're going to be like hour to two hour long videos, or even possibly live streams. Not sure just yet. I'm opening up every single thing. I'm going to let pile up. Like, normally, this would be one fan mail video, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to pile up, pile up, pile up, close up a lot of fan mail. We're open all in one day. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys have never sent fan mail, like I said, let me know. Or send it right here on the PO box. It's on screen. Send the fan mail right here. You guys do not have to send just Pokemon cards. You guys can send anything. I mean, anything you possibly think of that you think will be interesting for me to open for a video. Send it down here below. Reptar fan art. Still working the Reptar wall. I still need some more Reptar fan art. So you'll send some of that as well. That would be great. But anyway, guys, let's start with the video. All right, guys. ADHD here. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you guys know the drill. Camera clip. So it was the three flips that time the day on accident. I was dropped that shit today. And stay left. You guys know the drill. Stay positive. You're having a bad day. Make sure you stay positive. Hopefully this video makes it a tiny bit better. But today is going to be a very, very, very interesting day. It involves some pops. If you guys liked the pop vlog a few times ago, a few days ago, let me know down below and I'll try and incorporate some pop hunts inside the vlog and stuff like that if you guys enjoyed it. So let me know down below because right now in the Nickelodeon collection, I'm missing five SpongeBob ones. Five. All characters. SpongeBob, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, Pat. Patrick. I have the gold Spongebob that you guys saw the other day, but I still need regular Spongebob all those guys, but right now on eBay, there is a, a sell going on. There's a, basically a sell where I get all five of them at once, so we're going to try and get it right now with you guys and see if somehow I can get lucky enough to get them. And then I'll only be missing two other Spongebobs, one that I also know the location of that we can go check out. But the point of today's video is actually a nerf mod that is the zombie destroyer or alien destroyer mod with a chainsaw on it. This is really, really pushing the boundaries the day here. Found a chainsaw that was actually like, been thrown I wanted to do this, but I couldn't find a chainsaw small enough. But today I found one, so we're gonna be doing that. So right now, you guys know the drill though. Hit the like button if it ends with an even number, an odd number, or a zero. This is who your partner is for an alien invasion. Right now, aliens coming down, attack you and your family. Let me know down below if you're gonna survive with your partner. You're gonna find out who your partner is to survive this alien invasion and protect you and your family. Let me know down below if you'd survive or if they'd be useless to you. In three, two, one. You got a good useful partner if you didn't let me know down below let me know down below if you will survive and how will you use this person to help you survive down below and we'll see who the real survivors are of the alien apocalypse but anyway you guys know the drill let's get started in the vlog in three two one zero <laughs> All right, guys, in the last video, I showed you guys actually opening up the SpongeBob Funko Pops. So this is actually the moment where I got those Funko Pops. Chronologically, this actually happened before that video. But what happened was I forgot to show you guys this part. So I really want to show you guys do it because it was really freaking epic and really, really random. And I got super lucky. I got a freaking steal on the SpongeBob Pops. And I wanted you guys to see that moment. So right here, this is me and Parker actually going for the bid. I was using his phone and my phone in order to try and get this bid. That's how hardcore I was going for this, guys. This is the actual moment where I received the five fun SpongeBob Pops. All right, guys, there's 40 seconds left on the clock. This is my one chance to get on the same exact thing. We have to basically hope, hope. So he's going to put in 225. I'm going to put in 250 to be safe. And hopefully if we can get it. Tell me I'm going to keep it on there. He's got his bit already in. I'm going to go ahead and no, keep it. Yeah, he's already got his ready to put in. I'm going to put in mine the last second too. Okay, so we're going to put in 250. Oh, shoot, go back. 250, 10 seconds. Oh, you're the highest bidder. Okay, he's got a problem here. You're the highest bidder. You're the highest bidder. No, I feel like I got beat, dude. Two 242. Did I put my bid in? Yes! 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 <laughs> dude, dude, okay, yes! Oh, oh my god! My freaking heart was beating so fast. Yeah, dude, there was like, I was like, oh my god, you didn't even put your bid in yet, but I, you weren't the highest, uh, I wasn't the highest. I swear on my life, on my heart right now. Wow. <laughs> that was, I was like, how did I not get it? Because I pressed confirm bit, but nothing came up. It just kind of yeah, disappeared. Just, but, <laughs> oh my god. Do you notice how like, I wasn't the highest bidder when you didn't even put yours in? Yeah. Yeah, he put his bid in. It was automatically not the highest bidder. Oh my god. I'm so glad I got that plan. I would have put 225 by itself. I would not put 250 in. I thought you did. Poof! <laughs> 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 Go through that damn roof. Holy crap. You just saved 250 bucks. Yeah, okay guys, so if I were to buy all of those individually, it would be around $500. Sandy herself goes for like 150. The cheapest one is SpongeBob at $70. So buying all five of them, so I could take this what I just bought, individually sell them, make five, make $250. Because you guys might, uh, you're gonna speak right now. If you guys are wondering, why did you just spend $250 on some plastic toys in a box? Well, 
because I'm, I'm that kind of person. But then also, <laughs> second, because you basically can sell all of them for $500. I literally have just made a $500 profit by buying these. I could just instantly sell them for $500. Well, that's what I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna put it on that shelf and it's gonna sit there forever. But anyway, I still made $500. And maybe one day if I wanna sell it, it'll be worth even more. Yeah, exactly. So it's called an investment. That's what I at least try and justify it with. All right, guys. So for the chainsaw mod, I bought this little tiny, tiny, tiny chainsaw. Like, almost like the ones that people juggle pretty much. And we're gonna be pretty, I'm trying to use this, but things, this is why you need tools right now we don't have a screwdriver that fits this weird type of screw but i do have the bit for it but i don't have the screwdriver right now we're using pliers to unscrew the screw from the screwdriver and you just drop it ah! all right guys so i'm a little bit aggravated but i'm gonna just try to move on from this because today's been a good day up until this 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 ryobi now on that is a new meme of the channel whenever somebody is a kid, an asshole a all of that got bleeped out but they are bad words you son of a ryobi you are a ryobi that's the deepest darkest insult for anybody on this channel if you call him a ryobi that is a bit much <laughs> but on a higher note, we're gonna go to Frankenstein's right now because I have the gold SpongeBob. I got all their SpongeBob characters. All I need left is the glow in the dark SpongeBob and then two other ones that are a whole different caliber of difficult. The last two that I need to finish that shelf. But we have one more that is easy, not easy to get, but easier to get. We're gonna get right now. All right, guys, so we're here and we're looking for the last one, which is the glow in the dark SpongeBob. And it should be somewhere over here. And I'm gonna go ask the guy in a second to look for it. I thought it was over here last time, but now I don't see it. Now I'm a little bit worried that maybe it doesn't exist anymore and I'll about online. But <laughs> We're gonna find out and ask them right now. I'm gonna be really triggered if they don't have it. Okay, so unfortunate news, they did not have the SpongeBob glow in the dark. I came here all the way over here, the long, hour long drive for nothing because they did not have it. So hopefully we can hit up another spot. We're gonna just kind of scour the whole place to see if I can find it anywhere else, but things are looking bad. Things are looking real rough. Okay guys, so since the last time I talked to you, things have gotten precedingly crazy, crazy, okay? And I know a lot of times I joke around, like with the SpongeBob pop and say things are like, you're just messing around with them being real. This is genuine, this is actually- I get a test, this is great. Insane. This, this insane. This is insane. So. I told you guys, I came here for the Spongebob Glow in the Dark Pop. There were three pops I needed left. That is the Leonardo Spongebob Squarepants, Sponge Shell Palooza from Universal Studios, and the Glow in the Dark. Got here, they did not have the Glow in the Dark. After I did that clip, I asked them, didn't have the Glow in the Dark. He just sold it. We go around the whole place, the whole place, guys. Don't find a damn thing. I look for every single place for that Glow in the Dark Pop, nothing. But we we're about to walk out, I'm like, I feel like we have to buy something. Let's go look at that guy one more time. Let's look at that one guy one more time. I look over there, guys. I look to the right in a dark, eerie corner. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? What is this? Boom! <laughs> the that Leonardo. Is so that is ridiculous. The Leonardo SpongeBob SquarePants with Plankton Shredder. This is a three hundred to four hundred dollar pop, guys. I got it for two hundred, two hundred bucks. And I also have another one because I just ordered one on eBay for three hundred. I'm gonna sell that one probably, and I have this one for two hundred dollars. In the original bag. In the original bag. The Funko gains today have been ridiculous luck. Like I got this. I've saved a total of almost five hundred dollars today. This is. 400 those other pops should be almost $500 I paid 240 so that means I paid almost two almost four dollars that is ridiculous so the data is in there guys so right after that I get this really crazy thing and then Parker sees another character he really wants from a very very famous show sometimes I use clip from play a clip increase your intelligence more smarter more smarter. <laughs> so he sees Rigby, which is right here. He sees Rigby. And as you see, he got it. But that's not how it ends. So we see another character in a regular show. Well, because we asked him, like, we're like, oh, hey, you know, dude, is this the only character you got? He's like, oh, this is the only character I got. I only got Rigby. But he's like, no, wait. I have this character. <laughs> so <laughs> was it the Rigby was $50, guys. $50. The other character was $180. So making us to a grand total of $230. $230 on the screen right here. But the wager was Parker flips a coin. If he, if he gets it bad, if he he loses the flip, he has to pay 260. If he wins it, he gets 200. Parker's like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm like, do it, do it, dude. He's like, I don't know, dude. I'm not sure about it yet. He's like, do it, do it, do it. I'm just, do it, do it, dude. You gotta do it. And then eventually, Parker musters up the strength. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to that ATM. He gets the money. And I, I was like, quite a flipper. You know, I got flip knives, guy. You know, I'm pretty good at flipping. I did kind of try and do it for Parker's benefit. And he picked head, flipped that coin. It goes up, it goes down. It, boom, boom. Boom, boom. I feel like it swirled for like a, a minute. Yeah, we see that head. And then he gets none other than a $200 pop with movable marbles. Benson from regular show. The most expensive of all the regular show characters. So we went from a day with getting the five characters at once. I didn't even think I'd get it <laughs> all for half price. To going in here getting absolutely nothing at first. And, and we finding, were literally about to leave. We were yeah. like walking out the door. And then finding everything. Today was a good day. Now I'm hungry. Really, really, really erect. <laughs> All right. 
right guys, so it's the next day and I am a lot better mood today. So we got the chainsaw, we went to Home Depot and got it modified and got all the handle stuff moved off so that way this can be strapped to a Nerf gun to make the chainsaw mod. Now it's like a freaking sword. Like you can just like slice through stuff so this is gonna be easy to strap onto a nerf gun now so we're gonna try that right now but a long time ago parker got me a christmas present like just 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 so you guys watch this video for the first time i got a christmas present a long time ago from him and it barely got here today i ordered it december 20th and it barely arrived today almost freaking january so, finally got his present, but for those of you guys that thought that maybe I was just like a jerk and a bad friend, I didn't get him a present, but he got me one. I got him one, it just it took a long time, and it's almost unbelievable, it's almost unbelievable. Really, it took you a month to get a present? I swear on everything, I ordered December 20th, it just took forever. But today I got it, so Parker's gonna open his present just to prove to you guys that I did get him a present, and then we're gonna get started with the mud. Okay, so like I said, I'm not a bad friend, so Parker's gonna open his gift right now, and I'm not a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad friend. Yes, I am a good friend. And I promise I did order it in December 20th. December, dude, that, like, what could have possibly happened? I do, well, I can tell you what happened later, but. <laughs> <laughs> I do know what happened, but it was just an unfortunate circumstance. What? <laughs> no, it's not fake. These are, dude, this is not real. This is real. This is not real. <laughs> no freaking way. I would not prank you. You've pranked me before. Open them. <laughs> I'm not pranking you. How do you open these? I've never opened up something this nice. You just open this and they pull it out. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. I told you I was a good friend. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yes, I am a good friend. Yes, you are. <laughs> Thank you so freaking much. You're welcome, dude. So, Parker, I got him the gift. I'm not a bad friend, guys. I got him the Zebra Yeezy. He's been talking about him for a long time. He likes Yeezys a lot, but he does not own a pair, but now he officially owns a pair. Wow. So there we go. All right, guys, so that was Parker's present. I'm glad that he enjoyed it. So next we're gonna do is actually the Nerf mod now. There's always a lot of stuff before this, but right now what we're gonna do is this is the gun I'm gonna try. Right, of all the Nerf guns you can pick, you're gonna pick this three-shot freaking Star Wars gun. The reason why is because it matches the closest. This is the closest gun you find that matches. Trying to make the actual Nerf brain saw here. So what we're gonna do is strap this onto this Ryobi chainsaw and make this into the Nerf chainsaw mod. We're actually doing a lot of modified things to take off all those handles. Had to pop this thing off here because this will not be leveled with this. We're gonna pop this off just like this. And now we have just this piece right here. And we're it's usually put... not that easy to pop off. Yeah, we had to use a screwdriver <laughs> to pop it off like that. So we're gonna put that on flat just like this. And then we will have the Nerf chainsaw mod that should work perfectly. We'll have all the shots and then a chainsaw down for the actual Nerf brain saw. So I'm pretty excited. Let's get started on this. All right, guys. So right now, working on it right here. It's take a little bit of time to get everything set up. It took a long time to get the thing glued on here, to be honest. But this is the Nerf Chainsaw Mod. So now we're going to try this thing out on a few different fruits, and then we're going to try it on some harder targets in a second here, and maybe even this entire dresser. We're going to find out right now. Here we go. I really hope this works. It took a lot of work to get this thing put together, but here we go. First item. Oh, I think it works. Here we go. The Nerf Realist, real life Nerf brain set. Here we go. I have to be really careful with my, with my gloves on real quick. That's good, dude. Yeah. All right, so we're in the Nerf battle. This is the guy's head right here in the middle of a Nerf war. This guy's dad just being kind of a jerk. And just like, Ooh! <laughs> that was like nothing. That was indeed. That was nothing. <laughs> it even went through the table a little bit. Oh, it was so jaggy. Oh, man, dude. Freaking brains everywhere. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be fun. This is satisfying, right? <laughs> that was so clean. Dude, that is the most satisfying, like, the hot knife challenge, like, times 100. Is right? <laughs> it's like slicing through. Okay, next thing. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is so fun. You wanna slice? Actually, can I get a bigger slice? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. Not big enough. <laughs> this is addicting to watch. <laughs> Woo! Dude, it's almost like it's a chainsaw. It's great. <laughs> Wow. You don't realize how overpowered chainsaws are until you're using them. Okay, how many seconds do you think it's gonna take to get through all three bars? Uh, five. Five okay, seconds. So each one of these is a different leg bone. Here we go. There we go, that's what I was aiming for. Wow. All right, next time. Okay, so now we're gonna try and clean some of this mess up. Here we go. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh my God! Oh! Holy crap! 
My shoes are over. Done. Dude. That was so satisfying. That was butter. That was the most satisfying I've ever done. Ah, oh, chainsaws. I like them. When you try your cheat code and Tony Hawk Pro Skater four or six times, it just still doesn't work. Be very careful if you have a chainsaw at home, guys. Don't even try this, but. Is it throwable? I would, I, I would give that a yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up is this luxurious horse with his mane. You like this? Huh? You like this? You like this? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Look deep into his eye. Looks like we have to do it the other way. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! Dude, can you imagine doing this in front of like, like someone's daughter? <laughs> If the horse is the thing to defeat this thing, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, I think the... I'm not gonna try it in my hand. Uh, but watch, watch that, that moment it starts working. I think the horse may have just defeated this guy. So we might have to try and fix the chainsaw. I don't think that he won, though. I think that the horse, there was no win. Oh, my God. <laughs> Definitely didn't win now, and neither did my ankle. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, so these are the... <laughs> So this is the end of the video guys because this uh, chainsaw is broken. Chainsaw is broken. Uh, I want to chainsaw this, this dresser and this chair in half, but the, the chainsaw is broken, so I can't really do that. Maybe something else will chainsaw this. I don't know when and how and where or when or what or when. All the same thing. But it'll happen probably more than likely. Anyway, guys, that is actually I'm kind of disappointed here because I really wanted to chainsaw this dresser now. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this big ass dress. But if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button down below if you guys are new here. So you guys do not miss a video when I post it, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. And as always, I will see you people tomorrow. Adios.